Hello and welcome I back to Creep, Creep Country. Country. Today we want to take you to the Toronto Necropolis. Come on, let's, let's go. go. Let's, let's go. go. We have just arrived at the Toronto Necropolis. It's beautiful. Uh, this area is mm -hmm. so nice. Really lovely little neighborhood. The gate entranceway to another park. Lots of people playing and having fun, but all the dead people are back here. So that's what we're that's here to what see. That's we're going, to see some really old tombs. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is the oldest cemetery in Toronto. So, pretty cool. Okay. Ooh, let's go in. But So we legit don't even know how to get in. So we're just following this kind of spooky looking path. So now we're just walking around, trying to find the entrance. <laughs> oh, there's a dog. <laughs> I don't know, but I feel like this feels like we're getting close to cemetery gates. I'm choosing to believe no, we're getting close. <laughs> We've just currently walked all the way around it. But look, it's really pretty. <laughs> we went the wrong way. So, we're trying again. Hello, everybody. There's the necropolis. That's the chapel. And I think we finally found the entrance. Look at this. Isn't it stunning? So we finally found the entrance to the cemetery. Yeah, it did not disappoint. Okay. This fence reminds me so much of New Orleans. So we were just about to come into the necropolis and this lovely gal with a dog <laughs> comes up and says, are you guys horror movie fans? And we're like, how can you tell? Uh, <laughs> Is there something about us <laughs> that screams for me? Yeah. <laughs> and we're like, yes, actually we are. <laughs> and she told us that George A. Romero is buried here in this cemetery, which we didn't know. Yeah, which I had no idea. So we are going to go and look for him. There's that kitty for a walk in the necropolis. Hi, honey. Do you want to come say hi? Are you a friendly kitty? Yes, he's very friendly. What's his name? Isaac. Isaac. Okay. He's a Hello, handsome. Look at you. You're an angel. She's so pretty. Luckily, even for the fact that it is the beginning of June. It's a beautiful day. It is the breeze. Look at all those colors. And uh, so it's like a nice day to come and do this sort of thing. Here we are, the final resting place of George A. Romero. And it's so cute. People have left like little zombie body parts and a little zombie figurine here. We actually had the pleasure of meeting George A. Romero just before he passed at the Dark Carnival in Hamilton. So we had a bit of a challenge finding this, but Kevin to the rescue. He found it, and there it is. And then there's a little um, plaque here as well. Thanks for your help, buddy. All right, so we've just found the uh, grave site of Jack Layton, um, who was the uh, leader of the Anglican Party. Um, also, he was a pastor at George Grotto. Um, very well liked. And Kevin was a big fan of Jack Layton. Actually went to his uh, memorial? I did. Uh, actually, I, he was laying in state at um, Nathan Phillips Square 
and I went and stood in a long lineup um, to pay my respects. So thank you for joining us today at the Necropolis. Did you have a good time? I had a wonderful time. Um, it is so gorgeous and uh, old. It's a perfect, perfect day for it. Thanks for joining us and we will see you next time. Till next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. So we've decided after a lovely visit to the Necropolis, I keep wanting to call it the Necronomicon. <laughs> the Necronomicon yeah. After visiting the Necronomicon, <laughs> the Book of the Dead, after visiting the Necropolis, we've decided that we want to go to a spooky place. Yeah, to go eat dinner. And we thought having dinner with the devil, nothing could be spookier than that. So why don't you join us at Louis Sapphire's? Cyphers. So here we are at Louis Cypher's. This is a sign. If there was ever a sign, it's right here. That's it. Gothic American here, and it's a dark brown. Very, very good. I'm really liking it. So Kevin's reached the singing old 90s <laughs> dance music portion of, of the evening. This, uh, beer is called the Belial's Bourbon, which has been aged in a oak uh, bourbon barrel. It is 10 point something. It's, it's, it's very strong. I am drinking Cypher's Punch here. I am nearly done it. Let me tell you, this is one yummy drink. Real secret. I'm a little drunk. But don't tell anyone, okay? Between you and me. I am. Okay, so we are leaving Louis Cyphers. There it is. It was delicious. It was delicious. We're a little drunk. Yes. And now we're on the day forth. We are. And we're on our way home. To the puppy! One of my favorite stops on the day forth is this psychic place because I just love the artwork out front. This lady with the crystal ball. And if you know me at all, you know I am a sucker for neon lights. And they have these really cool neon lights. This is Creep Country signing off. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.